Kia ora yet problem. This is a simple example of a problem that we can use the Moivre's theorem to help us solve. So let's look at how to evaluate this polynomial. So evaluate 1 plus i to the power of 5. So the result we're going to use is called de Moivre's theorem, which we'll abbreviate as DMT, and that tells us that if we have a complex number in polar form, so r cis theta to the power of n, that works out to be r to the power of n times cis n theta. We'll pop the angle in brackets. Um, the proof of this can be done by induction. The basic idea um, flows from what we know about multiplying complex numbers together in polar form. So it's a really, really easy result to use, uh, but we need to make sure that we have our complex number in polar form, not rectangular form. So the first step in problems like this is to convert into polar. So 1 plus i is equal to what in polar form? Well, this is a really easy one to do just without much mechanical work. We've got 1 here and we've got i here. So we know that this angle is pi on 4 or 45 degrees. Um, I'm going to work with radians so that you get used to them. We also know that if we've got a 1 and a 1 here, we've got root 2 here by Pythagoras. So the modulus of 1 plus i will be root 2 and the argument or angle will be pi on 4. So as usual, before you get going, do a really quick sketch of this number just to check which quadrant you're in. So what we're working out is root 2 cis pi on 4 to the power of 5. I'll do the working on a new slide. Right, so we've got 1 plus i to the power of 5 is equal to root 2 cis pi on 4 to the power of 5 which equals root 2 to the power of 5 times cis 5 pi on 4. And that's by de Moivre's theorem. So when we use a theorem like that, we really should say that that's what we're doing. Now we just work that out. So this is the square root of 32, cis 5 pi on 4, which is... 4 root 2 cis 5 pi on 4. Now that answer is technically correct, except that the convention that we've already looked at in class is that we usually give our angle as going between 0 and pi, between 0 and 180, or between 0 and negative pi. So 5 pi on 4 is around here. What we want to do is re-express 5 pi on 4 as being between pi and negative pi. So to do that, we're going to take off 2 pi. So we get 4 root 2, cis 5 pi on 4, minus 2 pi. Right, so this is the same as removing 360 degrees. Um, so that means that my answer is 4 root 2, cis negative 3 pi on 4. So instead of measuring the angle, that huge angle there, we're saying, well, that's actually the same as this angle in here, negative 3 pi on 4. Now, the last thing I have to do is get that back into rectangular form. 